What's up gamers? My name is CJ. This is going to be the first video on this channel, uh, Critical Empoleon. Uh, if you don't know me, I also have a Dungeons and Dragons channel. Um, my, don't mind the fact that half this is empty. I'm just now moving uh, stuff around in here. But today we are going to be opening a Battle Academy Pokemon box. Um, make sure that was in frame. Uh, finally found some cards at the local Walmart. They seem to be sold out of everything. Thank you, scalpers. Um, so Battle Academy, easy to learn. Uh, to take a look at the back. It is three complete decks with 60 cards each. Um, one's Charizard, Raichu, and Mewtwo. Uh, two tutorial guides to learn how to play, which the main reason I bought this is uh, I've got a young daughter who's learning how to play the TCG. We started with TCG Online, and she's picking it up pretty quickly. Uh, it's a great way for her to practice reading and math at the same time. Uh, it's got a rule book, uh, three deck boxes, one large metallic coin, damage counters, and a code card for the online game which I will be using, and we'll take a look at what it gets us on there. Uh, this is not a super new product. I'm just late to the party, but I wanted to open it up, see what's going on inside, and got a nice little video out of it. So, um, like I said, uh, my name's CJ. I also go by Crit Happens, which is my Dungeons & Dragons channel. Uh, this is Critical Empoleon, which is where the critical part comes from, and Empoleon's just a Pokemon I like a lot. Not necessarily my favorite. My favorite's Gengar, but I really like Empoleon and his aesthetic, so... Without further ado, let's get into this Battle Academy box. It's pretty cool. I probably should have started this before I uh, opened it, but no knife, YouTube. Don't uh, don't uh, demonetize me, although I'm not monetized. <laughs> but not a knife. It's a paint key for home renovations that we do a lot of. Oh, all right. That guy's here. Bring that up later. So we got the nice two-piece lid. It's almost like a board game. So let's take that off. Opening it up on the inside. Looks like we're met with the board. Oh, the I thought it was like a play mat, like a paper play mat. No, this is like an actual... Oh, I guess we'll use the big cam here. This is like an actual board game board to teach how to play. That's actually really nice because, like I said, I got kids and... They would get torn apart very quickly teaching them how to play this. So that's that's nice. That's actually solid. I don't know if you can hear that real well on the mic, but that's actually pretty cool. So we got that. That's part one. Um, after that, I just messed all this up. It looks like we got a Pikachu deck guide. I assume that this is just going to yeah teach you. We got the deck list, and it's going to teach you how to play this deck specifically, how it works. Looks pretty cool. I'm going to assume it's Zebstrika and uh, Electabuzz is in it. And then the same probably for this deck, which is the Charizard deck guide. Looks the same, assuming Salazzle and Moltres are part. Um, from what I read, these are very balanced decks that uh, any it doesn't really give any type advantage or unfair advantage. I uh, guess we go right here. Got the big coin. Nice big coin. Let's focus that on the camera there. Pretty cool. Charizard, Mewtwo, and Pikachu on it. That's nice. It's really big though, like compared to. Let me grab. Uh, yeah. Here's an old coin. So comparing it to one of the old style coins, it's definitely a lot bigger. So that's cool. Got that. Uh, we got the Pikachu deck and the Charizard deck, which we'll set right here to the side, and we'll get to those in just a second. Uh, so we got damage counters, GX tokens. That's nice. I like the dice better that they do in like the trainer boxes now, but this is obviously, I think this was twenty US dollars. Uh, we got the, and then we got the Mewtwo rule book, advanced rule book, that teaches you more about V's and V Max and all that. And then the Mewtwo deck in here in the bottom and then the code for the online game which should have come out they're not going to show the camera because i'm planning to use that and we're going to see what gives us <laughs> although i guess I'll, I'll have redeemed it before this video is uploaded either way so that's that's all that's left in the box we can get rid of that move it over here and we got these three decks to take a look at which i can zoom my camera in here a little better all right so let's start here with the, I guess we'll start with Charizard. I think he is so awesome. Now, I'm a little surprised the deck is literally loose in here. That's not like cellophane wrap. Like I would kind of expect it like a 
structure deck usually is. But obviously, start with that, that very pretty Charizard GX full art card. Obviously very nice. Probably the main hitter of the deck. Looks like we got Cynthia, Switch, House. A lot of staple cards here. Pokemon Catcher, Kangaskhan. It seems, it looks like a lot of basic Pokemon, not a lot of them with abilities to go through. So there's another Charizard, a regular Charizard, which has Resolute Flame. Does more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon for each of their GX or EX in play. So that's cool. So it does have a few abilities. I like that it's got another Charizard in the deck. Welders, these are very nice. I've recently started playing again, so learning the meta, and they seem to be mandatory for any fire decks. There's the Charizard deck. Started out what it is. So it's not bad. Not a bad deck for starter play. Like I said, we got the Charizard GX. I guess we can set him up here to the side. Oop. Out of the way. Put the rest of the deck away. It's a nice little... It says Player 1 Charizard deck. So I guess we did them in order. Nice little paper deck box. So I'm going to assume Player 2 here. It's going to be the Pikachu deck. Nice little deck box also. I guess it's the same, just yellow. And of course, it's still... No, they're not cellophane wrapped. The, the Raichu GX, a nice view of that one. Pretty, pretty card. Basic abilities, just like the Charizard. No, like, additional for the GX ability, Any anything special. Does have less health, obviously. Um, looks to be probably the same trainer cards amongst the two. Electivire, instead of probably the Kangaskhan line on the other, and Salazzle. So it's not bad. I mean, it's Electropower. Bugcatcher, Alolan Raichus, Substricas. But, uh, yeah, it looks like the trainer cards are about the same. Keeps it fair. Nice little Pikachu art with the bubbles. I think you can get that a little better. Cute little Pikachu. So that is the Raichu GX deck. Which I guess I should have mentioned that on the Charizard too. It is a GX, of course. Not a V. And then... It wants you to start playing with those two, and this is advanced deck, so this one's got a little more mechanic-based that once you learn how to use the other two, you can advance up to this one. So, of course, the Mewtwo comes with a very lovely Mewtwo GX there. Very pretty. Difference here, it looks like his GX ability has uh, discard all energy from your opponent's active Pokemon, so it gives adds an additional bit of gameplay there as it adds an effect. Um, Potion, Mesprit, Bugcatcher. So it looks like it's similar. Uh, Mew. So it's a Mew Mewtwo deck. Not quite the amazing one that everybody wants to run right now online. Cressalus. There's a lot of legendaries in this, but... Espeon. Another, another Cressela. I said Cressela the first time. Cressela. It's not a bad deck. I mean, it looks like the trainers amongst them are about the same. Going through, yeah, a lot of Cynthia, stuff like that. But it does teach you how the staples work, so it's be great even on the line. Get you started with what you need. So that is that. And that is all of this, what is in this box. Um, and then, of course, it does come with the online code card that you use. But it's definitely nice. I'm actually, the, the biggest surprise I have is the fact that the board... Or like it, the 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 play mat that it comes with is actually like a monopoly board consistency, so that's awesome. I'm very happy with that. For twenty dollars, you can't beat that. You have three nice, pretty GX cards. Although, look at the centering on this <laughs> Mew too. Look at how bad centering is here. It's like way tiny on this side versus the other. So that's definitely not cut well. But the Raichu seems to be pretty well centered as well as the Charizard. But that that Mew too is. Pretty fucking bad. Other than that, I don't plan to resell these though, so it's fine. Other than that, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. For twenty bucks, you can't beat it, and especially because you can't find anything on the shore shelves right now. Nothing at all. I can't I haven't found any packs. The only packs they had alongside this was like um sun and moon packs. You cannot find battle strikers anywhere or anything else. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like the pack openings, hopefully if I can find more packs, we'll be doing more of these uh, over time. Um, next video coming out on this channel is probably a uh, Zacian Lucario Malmetal deck. 
uh, budget deck for Pokemon PCG. You could either build it in real life, or I'm going to be showing it off online, of course, because like I said, you can't find cards anywhere right now. Um, and some gameplay coming soon from the other Pokemon games. Uh, we're probably going to be doing a live stream over at twitch.tv slash crithappensyt, uh, doing Pokemon S uh, Sapphire randomized uh, with twist of the fact that chat controls uh, the gameplay a little bit, because uh, anytime I get somebody redeems so many channel points, donation, subscription, etc., uh, I have to release one of my Pokemon at random. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> that's that's going to be that's going to be real fun. Um, so make sure to stop by over there, see if I'm live, uh, or just look for the gameplay channel, gameplay on the channel later. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys later. Peace.